It's hard. It's hard living with a with an affliction like that. I um, most men name their 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 penis. I'm sure, ladies, ask your man. He has a name for it. It's usually something real masculine, or you know, it's like a Zeus or Samson. I came up with a name, Dudley Moore. And that's right. So when people see him, he usually gets a laugh. And Dudley Moore isn't the tallest guy in the world. I can admit that. Constantly reminded of my problem. I got a membership at the YMCA. And I go into the men's locker room. And the older guys in the YMCA like to blow dry their testicles. <laughs> I don't know when that kicks in. I don't have that urge yet. But that's what the older guys do. They blow dry their testicles. <laughs> to do this, they have to lift up Zeus. <laughs> What I wouldn't give to have to lift up Dudley Moore. He, he leaves him alone, you know? It's like, it's like my testicles took out a restraining order on him. If he comes within two inches, they could have him arrested. He's out of there. So my, uh, my wife uh, told me something. She's always trying to cheer me up. She told me something. Uh, she had a cute little nickname for her last boyfriend. She used to call him Pencil. <laughs> Ladies, if you're going to assign a cute little nickname to your boyfriend, you might not want to pick a writing utensil, you know? And uh, he was a mean guy, too. She'd tell me these stories, how he, he'd lock her out of the house, push her out of a car, and I'm like, well, you called the guy Pencil. <laughs> Pretty much anything goes after that. <laughs> but she tells me she's much happier with her toothpick nowadays. <laughs> and she was with her friends.